Let's talk about relics in room 24. Hey, all the Lovians and Assist Carter. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Sword Fighter Simulator because we're going to be going over the new relic leveling system. Uh, some information I found about the experience you get, and we're going to be going over room 24 and some of the relics. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button, do the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate the spend all that. Let's get right into it. So first things first, um, room 24. I'm going to go ahead and run it real quick. This is a pre-recorded section for y'all. So overall, getting to room 24, you're probably going to need about 150 to 300 of... SPD, and that was just soloing. Uh, you're gonna need a good, probably damage enchant or damage relic, and some good damage enchants on your weapons. And what I mean damage, I mean like DPS stuff. You can probably do it earlier if you've got some god tier stuff, but that's only if you have them now. What I have found from the lovely relics in that room. Let me go ahead and show y'all some of them because I do have a lot of them. So we have the lockbook, which is going to be your brand new damage. This is the brand new OP damage one that we're going to be working with. Uh, mine's level eight. So, but this is going to be super, super nice. Going to be the brand new OP damage relic that is currently going to be out. So you also are going to get the royal cape. And then I also have a screenshot of the lovely mythic relic from as well. And this one is going to be the brand new power relic. Now, it does it stack up to Santa hat? No, because the game hates us and they don't want to give us stuff that actually equals what it should be. So if you have Santa hat, it's still going to be the best power relic in the game, at least probably until room 28, which people are starting to be able to get into. Um, I'm hoping by my next ascension, I will be able to clear it. Um, I can get into the room. I don't do good in the room. So, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about relics and XP. So, if you're not aware of how to get relic XP, you need to go in here, you go over to the anvil, you interact with the anvil. When you click a relic, that is the first relic that you are going to be interacting with. This relic is going to basically eat any other relic you give it, okay? So, if, say, I click this first, but I'm like, oh, I wanted to work on this one. Don't do that, okay? Because it's about to eat my locked book, and that'd be sad, and then I'd be sad. Now, one thing to note with this, much like you saw, I had a level 8 I was trying to put in there that didn't give that much experience. Even if you have a relic that's like level 50, which is supposedly the max, it's not going to count. It's going to count as its base XP, so kind of keep that in mind. Now, not every single item is going to have equal XP. So I'm going to go ahead and get the lock book out just so y'all can see it. And I will blow up the image right now. There you go. So every single relic in the game gives a certain amount of XP. So the spike ring, not going to give that much. You didn't see the bar move that much. I click on the silver necklace, which is from Easy Dungeon. You can see that's how much it gave. The Christmas stuff also gives stuff as well. I will tell you from having already played with this, the Christmas relics do not give as much as the other relics. So, silver necklace, that's how much that one gives. That's how much the red one gives. It's not, it's not that much. So, I would almost say it's probably on par with the easy mode stuff. And you're like, what do you mean easy mode stuff? Well, if you start trying to give relics from easy mode compared to hard mode, there is a difference in experience. So radiating paper, as you can see, brings us to right there. Radiating paper is from hard mode. Um, let me click voodoo doll. That's how much voodoo doll gives. So there's, there's a little bit of difference in the relics that you get from each dungeon. Okay, so the easy mode stuff I have found going through and testing all of this. Example being if I use gold ring, this is how much gold ring gives. This is from easy dungeon. Now let's go over here and get piece of wheat. Gives a little bit more. So if you are going to want to be XP farming and you are managing to be able to get to 
Hard mode, honestly, I would farm hard mode. Hard mode's gonna give you so much more experience. Now, all this extra Christmas stuff, I would utilize your presence right now because that's free experience. Here, let me grab all my Christmas stuff that I have. There you go. So that is all my Christmas relics that I have. I don't use them. They're just kind of taking up inventory space and I'm already halfway through the level for that locked book, which is gonna be super, super useful. So that's kind of with the XP. Y'all are more than welcome to go and check this out. I have sat here and done this so many times looking at XP difference, difference between hard mode. I have found that even if it's like a hard mode four, it gives as much experience as say like a hard mode 24. Um, if y'all would like an example of that, we got the golden skull and the cape. Golden skull kind of moved the bar. Let's actually go over to the book. I probably can show y'all better over there. So golden skull gives to right about there. Cape gives to right about there. So it's about the same. So, so all in all guys with this, what this is meaning is that if it's from a rarer dungeon, it's going to give more or the harder dungeon. If it is a higher rarity, it is going to give more example being this is how much royal cape give well again we got to go back to the book again you get to a point where you start got to spend a lot of xp so royal cape not that much radiating paper a lot more like it's noticeably a lot more so the rarer ones are going to make a bigger difference trying to put them in so all in all what you need to take away from this you get more XP from these items. The rarer the item, the more XP you get. There you go. So honestly, what I've been doing is I've just been farming the hard modes whenever they pop up since I can get so far. If you are not able to get in a hard mode and just do easy, um, then try and do easy. Just be very, very careful with your relics. I have heard of so many people deleting their relics and I feel so bad but it's you got to pay attention on this. Whatever has that check mark, whatever is highlighted over here is the one that you are going to be increasing. So anything else that you click, so I'm actually going to be adding all of this in here anyways, is going to be adding to this one. So keep that in mind. Watch where your finger goes. Also, you saw that I just clicked that piece of meat and moved to that lock book over. So be careful as well. One thing you can do and that I kind of like to do is just go down to the bottom. And then I click from the bottom and then I just make sure I don't have that locked book up in there. I'm going to get ring of poison up to level 12, which will give me an increase in power. Not that button. So now my ring of poison now does that at level 12. So that's kind of my big tips and tricks guys. If you are trying to use the relic system, the relic leveling system is be careful with it. Now, if you're wondering what relics should I level up, sister, I have all these relics and I may or may not get carried. I don't know. What I would go ahead and do is just level up the best stuff that you have. And then if you happen to get something later, then you can start working on leveling that up. This is something you, you can get really OP with this, like super, super quick. There's people with Santa hats that are like leveled up to like 14, whatever plus, and they're like get 4,000% increase. It's kind of insane. So Kind of keep that in mind. I, I would definitely go and work on this. Now, this does level up damage. It levels up power. With the lockbook, this is leveling up the crit chance and the crit multiplier. So you're kind of getting double duty on that. So that's actually super, super nice. So plebs, I'm stuck in the anvil. <laughs> plebs, definitely take the time to level these up. They are going to be super helpful. So if you're also stuck somewhere now, this is something we can add to increasing your power. And if you're getting stuck, Make sure you're leveling up your relics because it's going to be super, super helpful. So, plebs, I'm going to go and leave you all here. I'm going to get back to grinding and uh, I will see you all next time.